Welcome back. Let's take a look at a game from last time. And here, Shogi Wars has given me a puzzle from my game indicating a move that I could play and then the move that I did play. So here in this position, the yesterday or last time we played, I had a decision to make. Where do I drop my knight? Do I drop it on 4-8? Or drop on 4 6. 4 6 looks really spooky because it approaches the king. 4 8 looks really defensive because um, it hits two pieces at once. And if my opponent lets me take this pawn, then um, I have a strong attack. Uh, I did also consider knight uh, 6 6, but I thought knight takes knight would be a huge problem because that's really close to my king. I considered knight 4-6. Um, I'm trying to think, though, if I do do that. Like, what might my next move be? Uh, I didn't see a concrete continuation from here. Oh, I have another knight, don't I? What would happen if I used the other... Oh, and then the gold is hanging. So if I drop a knight here, I'm threatening to drop another knight. And my opponent can't drop a pawn to defend against this knight drop threat. So this is at least a little bit complicated. Dropping the knight way down here was incredibly slow, and it was difficult for me to attack during the game, so it doesn't surprise me. Oh uh, yeah, Shogi Wars recommends this attack. And then the king starts running away from my attacking forces. I mentioned if I were able to take this pawn, how I'd have such a nice attack. I guess that applies even in the case <laughs> Alright, Shogi Wars is recommending a variation that just is extremely difficult to follow. Um, yeah, I don't know. There must have been something really wrong with my night drop if Shogi Wars is recommending something. Oh, we both missed this. Okay. And yeah, I could take the silver and maybe survive, but... Taking the token is the safer option, and yuck. This is kind of a hot mess. Thankfully... Oh, wow. Well, in other variations, I saw uh, positions where the rook would swing over here and make threats. I didn't realize this was landing so quickly here. So that's uh, why it was important to attack and or defend correctly in that very sharp endgame. Uh, I lucked out last time. Will I luck out again? Let's find out. Here we go. We're playing some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Left side, me, eh? Alright. Do they do that even in circumstances where. Um, hmm. Alright, I use my rook effectively. My rook is on this beautiful open file. Um, yeah, what can be said? There's, it's just too good. They want to attack. I get that. Um, I understand the desire to attack, but I don't think that desire translates into ability every time. Um, at least in my own games, wanting to attack and being capable of launching a successful attack have not always been the same thing. So, yeah, they make the predictable bishop move. Um, I know, I'm curious. What happens if I go here? And then I'm threatening to take your knight. And then I could take this pawn if I'm crazy. Uh, they don't have anything in hand. They could move a silver to trap my rook. That might be a bit too much. Let's just go back one. Okay, we'll take a free pawn. This is not what my opponent banked on. Or so I believe. 
Um, yep, they want to attack my rook, as this position is quite troublesome for them. Um, hmm. I'm trying to imagine whether there's multiple good ways this position can go. Um, hmm. If I bring the silver up, if they attack, if I take this pawn, if they push, I could take here, they take this pawn. Um, I don't have a next move. Hmm. Hmm. All right, fine. I admit that you get the pawn back. Congratulations on recovering your lost pawn. I debated bringing the silver up, but these... Both silvers are optimally placed here, so we're just going to roll with it. Um, and then reconstruct the castle like this. And threaten a pawn drop here. At this point, they might be considering sacrificing on this side of the board, because I have an attack. They would like to have an attack. I'm not sure if such a sacrifice is sound, but at this point... Well, actually, it's not sound. Pawn takes, bishop takes, silver takes, rook takes, bishop drop is a fork, which picks off the rook. So, okay. Yeah, I missed this, but I can move the bishop out to defend that. Maybe I should have pushed the edge pawn in advance so that they wouldn't easily punch through my position as they're doing. Um, maybe bringing the silver up is still quite strong. Silver, bishop, pawn, 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 silver. Uh, looks okay. Oh, they have another pawn in hand. This could get wild. Um, I could push this pawn. Push, take, or do, 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 do. No, I don't know. Oh, hang on. There's another possibility here. Um, let's hit the rook. That looks like a decent square for my bishop even now. The king is going to run. I could take this. They could try to do this attack, but I think they're one tempo too slow. Um, what else could happen here? Uh, they could defend this way as well. Um, so what I read is that I could punch through over here. 
and they could consider defending this, uh, but either way, this also defends the point that they're trying to invade on. They could also drop a pawn, and I could push this pawn. They could take silver. I could take a silver. They could take here. Uh, but actually, if they drop here, I'd take here first. So my attack seems to land before theirs does. It's true I've not moved my king. So this is a bit risky. Uh, the whole time I have to watch out for eventually, or an eventual bishop drop on 5-7. Or I guess it's 5-3 since I'm Gota. So, we'll see what they do. They might also bring the knight out, just to make things more exciting. Um, I've de been debating, do I move this gold somewhere? For now, it seems well-placed. King 4-1 seems, well, normally it would be appropriate, but this attack here has proceeded so swiftly that the king might want to run the other way, so maybe... What was it? Uh, we were just learning a castle style the other day. Although I think the board position was flipped, and this rook was on the left, and we were... Si I don't know. But the idea of moving the gold left and the king to the right, it's just normal right side king as opposed to left side king that we looked at recently. But yeah, right side king doesn't look like a bad idea here. Even though the castle's not the right shape, but it's close enough. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd move this up one, the king over. Because if I bring the gold to the center, they have this bishop drop. And unless my silver is here, this bishop drop is actually somewhat problematic. Um, The Nifa rule is poking a hole in their plan. Like, if they were allowed to put two pawns on the same file, uh, this would be an easier attack for them. But, but they're not, so it isn't. Um, oh, interesting. That's sharp. Uh, I can drop a pawn here, too. Interesting. Go Gofun! I mean, this looks more than okay to me. Maybe I've missed something crucial here.
3分2分30秒2分。1分30秒。1分。30秒。Hmm. Masterfully done. Thanks for the game. Well played. Unfortunately, today we only have time for two games, so let's play game number two. Good luck.
How do you play this thing again? Um, wrong diagonal bishop theory is fun. Maybe it was this? I don't remember. Well, there's no effect on this, so I probably did it wrong. Um, or maybe this just doesn't have an effect. There we go. That looks like a shape. Um, interesting. Oh, that is also a fork. Check that out. How many times have I fallen for that one? Oh dear. Well, you know, eventually if I lose enough games, I'll learn not to fall for it. Um, just gotta learn one game at a time. Alright, so how do I try to recover this? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> We're freestyling it now. Um, uh, hey, that's one of the things that makes Shogi exciting. Is freestyling is a legitimate thing. Yeah, it's risky, but you get exciting games when you do it. So... We'll see how far I get. I just have to keep making threats until the opponent misses one. Interesting. Um... opponent missed this threat. I missed... that was some kind of floral effect, wasn't it? Welcome. So, I... like, there were a little white decorations on that thing. I don't know if bishop drop all the way back here on the edge in your own camp is some sort of effect, but we'll find out soon, won't we? So, yeah, here, the point is that I want to force this bishop exchange and try to get to back, back to something normal. Um, in the present position, they have a horse, I don't, and they're also up a pawn. So I'm trying to have that problem space. Divide it in half, that is. So if I'm only down a pawn... Or only having to deal with the horse versus um, uh, bishop dynamic. If I had either of those two problems, but not both, maybe I'd have some chances here. So that's the idea behind this bishop drop. Okay. Um, I have no reason to avoid this, so let's do it. And I don't know where my king belongs, but probably not where it's currently standing. Hmm. Let's check if they're going to castle this way by pushing this pawn. They might castle that way. How about this wing? Are they castling this way? Like, I don't know what to do other than randomly push pawns. Um, I think we're both in the same boat. 
So I want to make this as difficult as possible for the opponent to use a bishop effectively. So also I want to blunt the rook on the center file. This seems to meet both of those aims. But so we've taken this square for that they can't use the square for a bishop drop, and they can't move the rook here anymore. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, the rest of this is just difficult. Um, hmm. All right. <laughs> Right hand Gangi. Uh, sure. Whatever. That's like right side castle, right? Where we put the king on the right. They've played a central house castle, although it's different than most because the golds are on the outside. And yeah, a lot of things are odd here. Uh, uh, what the hell is going on? They put their king somewhere where I could attack it potentially. Um. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to clear a path for my bishop as it escapes their camp. Ah, they defend. They see my threat a mile away. Um. Oh wait, this is not so simple, is it? Oh my. Um if I move the rook. My position's not safe. Not even remotely. Um All right, my rook's not invading on this file. They've successfully blockaded this file, so let's give up on this file and try a different one. Um, this file's also a file. So I'm threatening pawn takes pawn, and then pawn takes silver, and then pawn takes gold. Okay. They don't want to let me do all those things. Um, understandable. Gofun. All right, here goes nothing. Crazy pawn sack. That's perhaps a bit more insane than I bargained for because I didn't see this gold could move up. Um, this is the big plan. Just pile everything toward the king. And that way, even if the combination fails, at least I'm pointing in the right direction.
they might block with the bishop. Everything might get liquidated and then liquidated again and again and again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This has to be tried at this point. And I don't know what's happening. Um... Knight, silver, uh, wait, how is this? All right, we have to try this. Here comes the cavalry. Such a strong king. They already have one bishop. They can have another one if they want it. I'm guessing they don't want the second bishop. But tactically, running away doesn't seem to be much of an option here. Um, so I'm threatening to win the rook. Also threatening to take here. I win the rook. I miss that the king retreat protects the rook, but it actually doesn't save it because I have a lance drop. I didn't see that. But yeah, I think they have to take the silver and afterward they have a silver and a bishop and I have a lot of pieces. Uh, so this is not easy for them. Further, I'm threatening to drop a lance here uh, surrounding the king. Yeah, I think this is the way they have to proceed. So if they can make some threat with the bishop that overcomes everything, good for them. But it seems challenging to do. Um...
2分30秒2分 I thought this was a mate threat.、Um, I misread something. I didn't see this knight. But I could remove the knight, right? So I'm threatening to drop multiple places. Yeah. Okay, you can have this. Here you go. It's all yours. They、uh, control the square. It's funny how the pawns are、um, asserting such an influence here. Who'd have imagined that they would play such a role? Ipun s a n j u b i o Let's see. Maybe I needed to drop a bishop here first. To completely cut off the escape route. Where's the technique? Not here, man. Not here.、Uh, boom. This is Western style technique. It's embarrassing, truly. I'm missing a million things here. That freaking knight is always in the way. Oh, thanks for the game. Alright, that's enough games for today. Yeah, sorry, my intention was not to flag him, but that is how this went down. I was trying my best. Obviously, I need to work on 
how to checkmate a king that has escaped halfway across the board. Uh, that's not your typical sort of puzzle. It's not the easiest thing to solve, but still something to work on. I hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.